Hey guys, this is a follow-up to my original review of the Amazon Basics mechanical keyboard. And um, so far the keyboard's working great. I finally got the software installed. I had to resort to using an uh, external optical drive to install by, by the disc that was sent with it. Uh, as far as I know, the software's still not working. Uh, the main thing here is you can see the interface. You can see all the stuff you can do as far as key bindings, macros. It's all available. I don't tend to do that, so I'm not going to sit there and try to run through a crash course in macros that I'm not familiar with. Uh, I do know most games don't utilize them as much anymore as they used to be back in the day. I think some games might still use them in like combos, thinking things like Dota and some other games that require combos. Maybe WoW might still be functional for it, but those are games I don't play anymore anyway. Uh, you do have some other options in here, and in just a moment you'll see a demonstration of some of the um, the lighting effects that are not available with the push button method on the actual uh, keyboard itself, and they're only available inside as well as your ability to like customize out the lighting effects of the keyboard itself. So without further ado, here's that test, and thanks for watching. All right, so real fast, we're gonna try to demonstrate what we're going to see here as far as with the um, software from Amazon and again to reiterate with this I had to actually sit there and get a external DVD drive and install the software from the disc that came with it and I had to actually acquire that DVD drive separate because my computer has no optical drive. Um, the main problem here is that's, that the software that you download doesn't seem to work properly as of 4-21-2019. So, first we can look at the sensitivity. You can't really see much from here and all you'll, I mean, you can affect that with the mouse button as well. But the big thing is synchronization, if you enjoy doing that kind of stuff. And uh, making sure, or if you want to set bindings for keys, that's on here as well. And overall, the interesting thing about this is you can just kind of move around the brightness of the keys. You can change that around. You may dim as all get out, moderately bright, increase the brightness as it goes. If you have it pulsing, you can make it pulsing. Like right there, it's just blinking because I have it set to blink. There's a few other settings. We're gonna make it go. We're gonna make it go about halfway just so we can see things. The blink setting is not in the. Uh, well, we have breathing light real fast, so that's breathing light. That is not an option from the little button right up at the corner right here. We can also pick out various lighting effects. Currently, it's set to fireworks, so it's gonna do that. Oh. Lighting effect there, and within Firework, you can click on it again and change around the color and color setting. You can make it rainbow, you can make it everything, you can change around our, our G, RGB values completely if you want to. All around. I'll just shoot out green and I have such a kind of green color right now, so it's just making a kind of green light. Uh, breathing light, that's the one we just switched it from. This is not available with just the little button up here, so there are a few extra options on there as well. React. So right there it's just gonna hold that one J open and press the J button. Space bar will stay on for a minute. Kind of subtle. It'll slowly fade away. A little bunch of buttons all at once. See, they're all kind of different colors. Randomized color combinations. So if I go through and hit all these things, it looks like Christmas a little bit. Scroll, that is available on the main settings. And you can increase the speed and effect of these things back when you go to synchronization with the button. And it'll just change it. You can also change it here, I believe, yeah. So make it seriously pulsing. Or we can slow it down. Ripple's also there. That's the one where you hit it and it reacts the whole way through. Again, you can go in the settings and you can change the direction. You can't change the actual pulse value, which you can. Here we go. Let's make it. There we go. Let's make it real fast. Super fast. Got the radar effect. It's a little hard to tell what it's doing there, but if we make it actually go a little bit faster, suddenly we can kind of see it's rotating. That is available on the main button, although you can't affect 
can't change the actual speed that is taking place unless you get into the actual Amazon Basics setup right in here. Fireworks, that's what we originally started on. Just shoots around a little bit. Blink. Which is really more it looks like what it would do if it was if the computer were actually asleep. Not too interesting. But that's not available with the main M button up here, so that's one extra setting that's there. Wave. Just a constant rotating color scheme. May go fast. Just like a constant wave to it. And then you can do like a custom setup, and that that this would be more for like a gaming kind of setup if you're playing in the dark. So it's it, in fact the default. So the gaming value is basically so for a lot of games you always use WASD, or you might use your arrow keys, your escape button gets used a lot for pausing. You get the number lock, which is off, often auto run for some games. So that's your main deal going on there. You can turn that off. Very responsive. Um, overall, it's a good setup. If you, have, if you have the Amazon Gaming mouse, it works for that as well. And that's about it, guys. There's not much more to it outside as far as the lighting goes. Um, you can set up the um, buttons, so you can have your macro set up. I don't really feel like doing that, although I can. It's just for most games these days, you don't need to do that too much unless you're playing like a certain kind of. Uh, I mean, most shooters you don't need it anymore. It's just too easy. You can set game profile management so you actually pick a different profile per game that you're playing that may need macro setup. Game mode disable in keys. I mean it's just it's a good setup. I mean it's not it, there's other like Corsair has one of these things out that's in the hundred twenty dollar range. It's way too expensive if you're in that market unless you just happen to love what Corsair puts out and they use a uh, red cherry switches instead of these blue. Um, overall though I think it's a good full system and uh, yeah thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. Uh, does I, So far we've had the keyboard for over a month and no problems at all, so we're very happy with it and my wife might be getting one soon. So thanks y'all for watching. Like and subscribe if you find it helpful and have a great day.